Hey everybody, it's Claudia. So I have a new video for you guys this week, and this week is a nail tutorial, and I'm going to show you guys how to get cute mix and match nails for the summer. And the ones that I'm going to be showing you how to do are these. They're super, super cute and really easy to do, and if you want to see how you can recreate them, keep watching. So the first thing you're going to need are some nail art pens or dotting tools or stripers, anything that you can create small dots and lines with, and you're going to need them in the colors white, pink, and black. The next color you're going to need is a yellow. Any yellow color will do, but this is Lemon Fizz by China Glaze. The next color you're going to need is kind of like a peachy cream color, almost a nude skin tone. Anyone will do, and this is Sunset Sail by China Glaze. You're next going to need a kind of bright coral color, like a pinky coral, and this is Trout Pout from Butter London. The next color you're going to need is a sparkly pink, obviously any sparkly pink of your choice, but this is Preppy Pink by China Glaze. You're next going to need a like sky blue. This is What's With The Catitude by OPI, and this is hands down my favorite sky blue that there is, and I definitely recommend it if you don't have it already. And then the last color was a limited edition from OPI. It's Warm and Fozzy from the Muppets Collection but any kind of shimmery brown color or matte brown color will do. So the first thing you're going to want to do is prep the nails. You're going to want to file them and make sure they're nice and straight. And then you're going to want to cuticle nip any hang nails that are around the nail and you're going to want to use a base coat and I use Nail Envy by OPI. So to start off you're going to want to paint your pinky finger with the pink color. Again I use Trout Pout by Butter London but any kind of bright corally pink will do and this is going to be our first nail and I apologize in advance for the shadow that I'm causing. The next thing you're going to want to do is take your nudie kind of neutral color, your neutral brown, and you're going to want to paint your ring finger and your middle finger this and again this was Sunset Sail by China Glaze and it's just a really good neutral nude color. And for all these nails, you're going to want to do two coats. So I just showed the first coat of each of them, but you're going to want to make them opaque and do them with two coats. And then on the pointer finger, you're going to want to do your sky blue color. And that was what's with the catitude. And then for your thumb, you're going to want to go back to your sunset sail or nude color and paint your thumb that as well. So to start off our mix and match nails, every good set needs to have polka dots and we're doing a pink and yellow polka dot. This was the yellow polish which is Lemon Fizz from China Glaze and you just want to do little polka dots all over the nail, you don't need anything specific. And then for this next finger we're doing a leopard print pattern so all you're going to want to do is kind of blob the polish in dots or U formations or a C and eventually we're going to outline it in black but to start off we're just going to make the leopard blobs and now we're going to outline it so taking your nail art brush or your nail art pen just kind of doing a C and a U around each leopard print. I'm so sorry that this is not as clear as it could be but kind of the messier the better this definitely does not need to be a very pristine or accurate look leopard print is very kind of all over the place so definitely feel free to have a lot of fun with that but basically just do what I'm doing <laughs> and then this third nail is going to be an Aztec inspired nail so we're just going to start off with a line of black dots at the top of the nail then we're taking our hot pink nail art brush or nail art pen and just drawing a straight line underneath that then thirdly we're going to take the white and we're just going to do kind of like almost angled lines almost like not quite straight if you see what I'm doing and these pens were really hard to like push so that's why I'm shaking but that's that and then the black we're gonna do a little bit of a squiggly line since they're so hard to press I was just like I'm gonna go with the squiggle and we went with the squiggle then the next thing you're gonna do is take pink and you're gonna make little triangles along the black color so just kind of coming off the black and it looks super cute and triangles I just think are really easy to do and you can connect them and again be very kind of cautious with it I guess but yeah it's super easy and we're just taking our little brush and making triangles
Now the last thing we're going to do, second last thing, sorry, with these nails is we're going to take our black again and we're going to make little dots in between each triangle. And then where we didn't put the black dots, we're going to do a white dot. So kind of like at the base of the triangle, just put a little white dot with your either your dotting tool or your white nail art pen. Now we're making clouds, which are so cute and so fun and really, really easy to do. You can kind of see what I'm doing in this right here. But all you're going to do is almost make like a flower pattern and just the more kind of like circles coming off each other and try and make your base of the cloud flat because that's kind of how we perceive clouds is the base is like flat, if you know what I mean. Um, but that's really it with the clouds. It's super easy and just kind of make them fluffy and big and fun like that. And now for our thumb, we're going to do a heart. So again, you don't need anything special for this, but I'm just starting off with two dots on either side of her nail where I want the heart to be, and then bringing them down and connecting it into the heart shape, which your heart may not be perfect, but that's okay. You can fix it up. And then I'm just going to show you what I did on the other hand in super fast motion. So we have clouds on the pointer finger, and then Aztec on the middle finger, we're going to have the cheetah print on the ring finger and the yellow polka dots on the pinky finger. And then lastly, we're going to go back to our thumb and outline our heart in hot pink. And to finish off your manicure, you always want to use cuticle oil and make sure that there is moisture in the cuticles. So I use Essie's Apricot Cuticle Oil. It's my favorite cuticle oil and I think it is super awesome. So that's it for this mix and match manicure. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like it and try it out, definitely show me your recreations on Instagram, which is linked down below. And if you guys like this video, definitely hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video on Monday. Bye!